This local sports report is presented by Holistic Hockey, a proud supporter of local hockey. Holistic trains and develops the whole athlete for the next level. Visit their website at holistichockey.ca to register for development skates, skill sessions, and much more. Also follow their social media channels at Holistic Hockey for the latest updates about new programs being offered. It's a huge game at the Galt Arena Gardens. This is U15 AAA Hockey Playdowns. The Cambridge Hawks and the Waterloo Wolves deadlocked at five points each, facing off in a winner-take-all game six. The winner of tonight's matchup set to move on to the Alliance Hockey Championships. Both teams fighting to keep their season alive. First period, and how about this start? Watch number 18 for the Hawks, Sudden Maltby. He pokes the puck through and he attacks the net. And it's a big collision with the Waterloo Netminder to start off the night. The Hawks playing tough all series and the physical play would come early. Avery Hammer drops Alexander Govanis in the corner. The Hawks controlling the pace early and moments later watch the Hawks captain Ryder Roberson off the draw. He blitzes down ice and he's got a breakaway. Ryder fires and scores it! It's a huge goal from Ryder Roberson and the Hawks take a 1-0 lead in the first. Jumping to the second period now and it's the Wolves bringing the fight up. Brody Strauss is alone out front. Jackson Terraborelli puts up the wall and holds the one goal lead for the Hawks. Some good work from Terraborelli, and moments later, the Hawks would need him again. Tucker Otto is in on net, but Jackson's got the poke check to break up the chance. The Wolves would keep coming, however, and here they are back on the four check. Tucker Otto finds it at the side of the net and jams away at it. Jackson Terraborelli holds strong and keeps it out. The Hawks bailed out by their netminder in the second, and here they are back the other way looking for some insurance. Leo Lajeunesse spots out Tristan Hill floating in. Tristan shoots. Logan McMillan reads the play and turns away Hill on the doorstep. Jumping to the third now, still 1-0 Cambridge. This is Matthew Miller on the power play, cutting the seam and looking for more. Logan McMillan flashes the leather and gloves the chance. Minutes later now, and it's a good bounce for the Wolves. Antonio Parisi smacks it out of the air, and the Wolves jam away at it. But Jackson Terborelli just won't be beat. The Wolves would keep pressing, but watch the shutdown defense from the Hawks. Ryder Roberson levels Brody Strauss, breaking into the zone. Final minute of the third, now the Wolves with an extra attacker fighting to force overtime. Jackson Cunningham Lauks banks it off the wall to Tristan Hill at the Wolves' blue line. And Tristan's got the dagger! <laughs> Galt Arena roaring for the Hawks as they hold on for the win. And the Hawks are going to the championships. What a series between two great teams. And in the end, it's a Cambridge win. Let's hear from the victorious captain, Ryder Roberson, after the game. I feel great. It was a tough battle. We were down last game. Had a great start. Came out this game. And we took it home. Now we're off to St. County and we're going for Alliance now. It was a set play. We call it Timmy's run. Because their coaches love Timmy's. And, um... Usually I rip over the net, but this time it's I go five hole and I guess it worked.